Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. And certainly it's the prerogative of a chair to decide when to hold a hearing, decide when to report a bill out, but the, as chairpersons, we have to respect the will of the body. And what I can't understand is how one individual can thwart the will of the body. And, and that's where my concern is. I During Wednesday's Committee on Rules meeting, action or lack thereof by one committee chairperson to quickly schedule public hearings was at the forefront. As we reported, tired of waiting for a public hearing to be scheduled on his bills, Senator Dennis Rodriguez Jr. decided to hold his own hearing on Monday. The bills were initially referred and sitting in the Committee on Finance, chaired by Senator Michael Sinicolis. Committee on Rules Chairman Senator Rory Respicio decided to re-refer Rodriguez's four bills. So after that informational hearing, uh, I determined that there is significant uh, public interest, at least from those who are to be affected by these bills. And I exercised my authority as chairman on rules to re-refer these bills to other committees which have similar jurisdiction over the matters. St. Nicholas, however, objected. And with respect to these items and the um, lack of funding that we have, or the funding challenges that we have um, with them, uh, the committee is again prepared to do its duty to um, handle these issues and uh, I would like to be able to do my work. St. Nicholas says he would have addressed the bills once funding becomes available. Respicio, however, noted the funding for at least one of the measures, Bill 184, was available through the Environmental Health Fund, but sat in St. Nicholas's committee for seven months. Rodriguez says a committee chair needs to set hearings, get public input, and not suppress voices. If there's no resources for that, that's that's the forum to get it. You don't you don't do these things in secret, Mr. Chairman. So I, I support the um, the, the re-referrals, and um, I, I now move for um, to call to call for the question. St. Nicholas, meanwhile, says he too has had bills held for at least 10 months, but never did he try to go around the process. All he's asking was for a little respect. I don't want to get baited into a bickering contest. You know, I want us to respect our authority as committee chairs, extend the same respect that we extend to everybody else. That's what I asked for in this Committee on Rules meeting, and unfortunately, I was not afforded it. Despite the objection by majority vote, the bills were re-referred to other committees. We just have to move forward. We have a lot of work to do, and this is the way you move forward in a legislative process. It's not a dictatorship. It's not a totalitarian uh, institution. Uh, we just have to recognize what the majority wants, and in this instance, the majority has spoken. During the hearing, Senator Tony Adda wanted legal clarification as to whether Monday's hearing was illegal. Legislative staffer John Paul Manuel, a staffer to Senator St. Nicholas, but speaking in his own personal capacity on Monday, stated it was illegal based off a memo from the legislature's legal counsel. During the rules meeting, legal counsel Therese Terlahi read her memo that stated the standing rules do not plainly allow for an author of legislation to, quote, bypass the committee process to hear a bill on his own. However, nowhere in the memo did she say specifically that Monday's hearing was illegal. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.